circuit is welcomed not only by those who have flown or worked with the distinctive Delta, but also by the many thousands of spectators who have been thrilled by the Vulcan's outstanding display capability. Hotel 558 went to RAF Marham for disposal. But on the 14th of November 1984, she was safe from the scrap heap when she was selected to be handed over to the Vulcan display team. And so it was that she returned home to Waddington for conversion, which took place during the winter of 1984-85. X-ray Hotel 558 is now almost exactly as she would have been in her operational role as a bomber in the V-Force. last Vulcan to fly with the RAF. During the course of her career she's established another unique historical point. She's the most the highest total of flying hours of any Vulcan on the beach. The average air frame hours of the V2 force on retirement was in the range of 5,000 to 6,000 hours. Although X-ray Lima 321, which ended her life on the Catrick fire and rescue dump, reached 6,952.35 hours. X-ray Hotel 558 now has over 7,000 hours to her credit, and this figure is, of course, increasing with each flight. She is now into her fourth year as the last flying Vulcan. In the official program, there is a short history of X-ray Hotel 558. The first, the last, the most varied and the highest usage. Surely all reasons why she should be kept flying as a tribute to everyone who was ever involved with the Vulcan Force. 558 celebrates her 29th anniversary this year. We hope you will wish us, join us rather, in wishing. <laughs> Hotel 558 is in some doubt. There are some people who think it may not be uh, displaying for later this season, let alone next season. Uh, I'm told there is a petition being raised for the uh, furtherance of Vulcan display operations in a static aircraft park. And I'm quite sure that all the support that this particular court case will uh, can have will help keep this magnificent aircraft flying.
continuing with his flying training on the Jet Provost and Nat at Valley. He then graduated on the Vulcan Instructional Unit at Finningley. He did three tours of Vulcan squadrons and two tours as a qualified flying instructor on the OCU. He retired from the RAF in 1982 and left the UK for the United States where he set up his own car business. However, such was the lure of flying that he returned to the RAF in 1987, doubtless remembering his time as a Vulcan station display pilot. Circuit is welcomed not only by those.